Hello, welcome once again. Now, let's say you're looking for a connector or you're dealing with a computer module, any computer module, BCM, PCM. Let's say I have in my hand right here a computer module. There's a pin layout where you connect the connector. Okay, this one, if you can see the pins, these are the pins. One, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom and then two on the top. The lighting is not that good, that's why I have to hold it that close. So let's say you're looking for a specific pin layout, you're not sure. Like I said before, Google has everything pretty much. In the Google box, you type in, before it was a wiring diagram, now I just type in PCM pin layout for Chevy Suburban. I didn't put any date uh, or year of the model. When that happens, this comes up. You see all these images, like just like before, if you've been following my previous videos, images comes up of pin connector, connectors. Okay, I clicked on this one, okay? This is the one I'm clicked on. That's the one that appears. This is what, what each, each pin is for and the color and the purpose of each one, which we'll go over in a minute. These obviously are the connectors themselves. Notice they're different colors, okay? And so on, and so on, okay? First, let's get to the first one, okay? Let's get to the first one. Okay, now, since I put in, as you see, Chevy Suburban, this came up, 90, 98, 99 PCM connector, GM 4.3 liter or 5.0 uh, liter. Now, this is the connector for a blue one. Very important, the blue one. If you notice, if you go down here, I'm using a pen for this. Maybe, hopefully, it'll be a little, it'll be a little easier. This one is a gray one, as you can see. See gray? If you have a gray connector, you'll refer to this one. If you have a black connector, you'll refer to a 24-pin one. And this is the front view. Remember, the front. This is a 32 pin front view. This is the front view also if your connector is red. Remember we said before, if it's red or blue, well, that's what they're referring to in this purpose, in this, uh, in this image, okay? So once, once we go through this, then we have to go and look at the pin connector itself like I just showed you. Now, you notice over here 32 pins. Correct? Where is pin one, where is pin two? It's very important to always hold the connector and you're not gonna have the connector. Let me show you the connector, hold on. Okay, this is the connector. You have to hold it correctly. If, the, uh, if these are reversed, if the pins are reversed like this instead of the other way, you're gonna read the pins the wrong way. So it's always important front view this will be number one. If you flip it, pin number one might be here or here. So make sure always to hold it the correct way, looking at it, viewing at it. This is pin one. That means this is pin two, this is three, four, five, and so on, up to 16. Now, 16 is here, Set. proceed to the next row, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Why am I... Uh, stressing this point because sometimes you have on in digital electronics you don't always go across as we do over here sometimes you go one pin one pin two pin three pin four this tells you no don't make that mistake go pin one pin two pin three pin four when you get to 16 you don't go out you don't go here like sometimes in digital 17 18 19 you'll go to the next row on the right hand side. That's why it's tricky. You have to be sure to get the right row, the right pin. So one, 16, 17. This is not 17. This will be the first pin. This will be the last pin. And so on and so on and so on, if you can see. So one, 16, go to your 17, and this is 32. Do not go one, two, three, four. I've seen it so many times. When you look for chips or, or connectors also, it, you have to get the diagram 
layout, the pin layout. Otherwise, you will be making tremendous mistakes if you read the wrong pins with the wrong numbers. Now, are they labeled? Sometimes on the PCM, they are labeled. So it'll tell you on the PCM, one, two, three, four, five, it'll tell you. Sometimes you don't have that luxury and you have to go to the diagram, which I'm doing now to illustrate, of finding out which pin is which pin. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, now that we figured out which pin is which pin, okay, here's pin one, here's pin 20. Where do you think pin 21 is? Is it up here? Is it up here? No, look at this. This is the connector C2. Okay, this is the connector C2. There's another, uh, there's another connector C1. There's another connector. Let me zoom in on it. Let me zoom in on it. One, one, through 20. <clears throat> 21 is not up here. 21 is the other one. See? 21. And this will be 40. Okay, let me, 40. Let me zoom out a little. Okay. 1, 20, 21, 40. Guess what? Now we don't go up here. We go to 41. 41. And then 80 and so on and so on and so on. Okay, actually, uh, 60, I'm sorry, 60. 60, can't be 81. So 41, 60, 61, 80. So basically what I'm saying is one here, continue here, <clears throat> and then continue up here. Very tricky. If you don't realize this, you don't go to the diagram, you'll think this is 20, 21, and you'll make big mistakes. That's why how important it is to stress the point. Go to the diagram. Now, Let's look at the diagram that we discussed before, like I viewed before. Pin one, okay, pierce pin one, easy. Okay, it would be connected to a black wire on the other side of it. <clears throat> this is the front view. The circuit number, we don't have to deal with that. That's not important right now. Is a ground. So if I'm looking for a uh, if I'm looking for pin one, what should I expect? Pin one and the other side of it, which is connected to it, I should expect what? A black wire. And what's the function? It will go to ground. Let's say I'm looking at pin 2. What should I expect on the other side or, or <clears throat> excuse me, the wire connected to it? I should expect what? A brown wire. And what? This will be for a torque converter, solenoid output, pulse width modulation. So anyway, <clears throat> this is the function. And if there's nothing there, that means pin 3 is not used. So let's go to, <clears throat> excuse me, pin 4, which is pin 4. One, two, three, four. Pink and uh, pink and black wire. <clears throat> Air injection uh, reaction solenoid uh, uh, relay uh, coil. So actually, some some places you have air secondary uh, uh, pumps and valves and things like that. Let's say we're dealing with that problem. We'll go to four. Okay. Now let's pick another one. Okay. Let's pick. Uh, let's pick thirty. Pin 30. <clears throat> what should we expect? First of all, let's locate pin 30. <clears throat> Excuse me. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 is right here. So 30 is over there. What should I expect in pin 30? I should expect dark blue wire and it's a fuel enable control. That means it lets probably the fuel um, relay for the fuel pump be enabled. It depends what you're diagnosing, what you're troubleshooting, but you have to refer to this also. So, <clears throat> so make sure you have the, number one, the location of the pins that you are correct. Number two, the colors of them. Number three, the function of each one. Very important. It has to match up with what you're looking for. For example, let's say if I'm looking for <clears throat> a, a power B plus. I go to pin one and I see a black wire ground. No, that has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. I would have to go look for a B plus or a positive voltage or a, a wire from B plus. So make sure it matches up with what you're looking for. Okay, let's say generator turn on signal for the alternator. <clears throat> let's say I'm looking for a starter motor. And I come over here and I say, this has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. I must be at the wrong wire. Go and look all the way down and see which one. Intake air temperature 
sensor signal. I have a problem, I have a code. I put the sensor on, it told me intake air temperature sensor problem. I, which one do I deal with? Pin 25 I deal with, right? Because that's the sensor that has nothing to do with it. So this is, this is for C2, you have C1, C2, C3, C4. So I think this is very valuable information. Like I said, let me go back to it. Let me go back to this one. Okay, so know the layout. The layout of the pins, know this one, their functions. The color has to do, obviously it's very important, the color. Don't get mixed up and, and look for a red when it should be blue or a blue should be a red. Everything should match up. It is so easy. If you look, you see these color wires? Well, sometimes the color fades. So it might be a white, might look like a gray, who knows? So don't always go by that. And sometimes on over here you have the numbers. On the bottom of this you have numbers. So look at the connectors, flip them over and look if you have the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. I'll show you hopefully hands on when I get to and you'll understand much better about the PCMs. So I hope this was helpful. Please leave comments if it is helpful. Like I said, um, you don't need to spend so much money on the whole uh, manual, which is 30, 40 pages if you're not going to use all of them. If, you, if I just need a pin connector for something, let's say I just bought a, a, a new uh, uh, oxygen sensor and I wanted to know which one is pin 2, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, whatever, I can refer to it, type it in over here in the box one more time, oxygen sensor for Chevy Suburban, whatever it is, or a uh, mass airflow sensor, layout, connector, and Google you will get the images. I hope this was very helpful for a beginner. Um, this is the beginning of electronics. You see how it is, how easy it is to just confuse the pins and the layouts and the wiring. Electronics is a tough, tough profession. It's even touch tougher to teach it, but as much as I try, um, people are on different levels. But anyway, please, if you like it, subscribe. I like to reach 10,000 subscribers, it'll be beautiful. Thank you for watching.